presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey, Robert, how you doing, man? Yes, and thank you for taking my call. I wanted to Morning. let you know that I've been a subscriber for a couple of years, just different members of your team, and I really enjoy it. But really the reason I'm calling is to express my sincerest gratitude for you providing that information information yesterday on the small business grant. I'm a small business owner and primary breadwinner for my family. And if I can get that money, it's going to really mean a lot to my family. So that's awesome. Thank you for uh, taking the time to do that. No, well, well, listen, man, we appreciate you growling a problem with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien at TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. And today's a big day, folks. This is my father's birthday. He would have been 99 years old. How about that, huh? Gotta love it. I'm telling you. Always do your best. Take action on your ideas. Doing your best means to take action on your ideas. You can have many great ideas in your head, but without action upon an idea, there'd be no manifestation, no results, and no reward. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading down 185. NASDAQ's off 152. S&P's off 30. Gold contract up $15.10, trading at 2,003 an ounce. You got silver up 40 cents, $26.22 an ounce. Light sweet crude off 233. 106 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note down 14 ticks, trading 126.03. The 30 year off 28 at 154.26 and King Dollar. King Dollar is up 523 ticks, trading 98.491. The Euro is at 109. The Yen is at 116. And the British Pound's at 130 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Well, with, thus far what you've had is this. The SPY is rejecting lower price on light of volume. I want to bring up the futures, though. Actually, I'm going to bring up the NQ futures first today. Because the way the NQs and the way the Qs were, when I just did that update, are showing, that's showing me that this thing wants to go south on the close. And the, the, the SPY actually looked good, folks, okay? But the Qs did not, and the Qs lead the whole deal, man. So let's take a look. You got, so what we did, I see, let's, let's look at it this way. Let's do it this way. I want to see from there to there. Okay, so we did over a 0.618 retracement from the highs of yesterday. We got up into just now on the queues. We got to, I was coming on, we got to 13,000. 621. That was quick, man. No, 13,633. And we just gave up 60 points in a heartbeat. Uh, no, let me see. So, so with that, what's happening here is this, okay? We got, let me look at this. So, okay, so another bar is going to start right now. So, what you had happen is this right at the three o'clock time frame, right when I'm coming on, you had a seller. And that seller took down the, took, took down the queue, uh, the NQ 60, 60 points. Um, now, you're coming into, you can see what happened. So we just did 6,500 contracts there, but when we went topside at 2 o'clock, we did 9,000. So this is going to be the fight, fighting bar. The bulls and bears are going to be fighting right here. Let's go take a look at the, uh, that's uh, the NASDAQ. Uh, let's go take a look at the S&Ps. So we take a look at the S&Ps, the futures this is. We're down 26 right now. Take a look at this. You can have the same type of setup. So we were going into 30,000 and we did 23, but we had a high of 17. And that took out the high. I see. Okay. Yeah, check it out. This is pretty cool. Okay. So what we had done, is, folks, is this. And I missed it the first time on the EQs. I'll bring this back so you can kind of see how this works. 
T at 10 o'clock this morning, the high of the, N of the E mini, because we're doing the E mini right, was uh, 42.56. You can see, see that volume characteristic on the left hand side, uh, 37,000 contracts. Well, we went up into that with 30,000, which is good, okay? But then that high there was 42.56, and we were, it was funny, that's what it was testing. You see how that test came in, folks? Okay, now I know when I go through these numbers, um, I hope you like it. That's the bottom line. I, I know even when I trade, I crack myself up, man. Like, are you kidding, man? You're going every 10 minutes, but that's how I do it. So I'm just kind of going through what I do. Um, so what happens here is this. We got over that high. No, we went right to that high with 10,000 less contracts, right? Then you got up into a high and you only had 17,000 contracts versus that swing high that had 37. And you came off of that with 23. So that's telling me that this thing is actually gonna chop around. That being said, that we're gonna have basically lower prices. The longer that we stay under the swing point of 42.56, the higher the probability that they'll run this right down into the close. Now let me go over to the NQs again because I wanna see the first high at 10.30 this morning. So here we go, gonna put this up. So the first high, okay, so it was at 10 o'clock, 30,000 contracts. We went up with not, oh, look at this, one second. That three, oh, that's 3,000 contracts. We went up with 928. You topped out with 462. And then we just did, yeah, the, lo the longer that this stays under 13,607. So this thing really got to get up there in order to basically get any juice going. This is going to be an interesting close, man. It, 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 when I take a look at all of that, so when you, take, when you still take a look at the daily, uh, let me put the SPY up, because see, this, the SPY looks really good in the daily, but this is why you got to do bo both of the indices, okay? So you can see when it brought, well, actually, it doesn't look as good from the update, because it moved down a little. You, when I first came on the update, do you remember? We were at the highs of the day, so this SPY doesn't look that great to me right now. The Qs, this is how the Qs did look when I was doing the update, and the Qs look weak because when you can just, you know, basically you're not at the highs of the day and you have, you know, in the Qs case, we're not even going to have lighter volume. So bottom line, I don't think anything's going to change, meaning that this thing uh, is going to have some heavy pressure coming into the close. That's what it's looking like. Gold. Gold contract out here. Rejected uh, 1975 last night. Gold is in a confirmed ABC structure on the way up. You get a price projection out here of uh, 26 to 2700. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading uh, down 153. You get the NASDAQ uh, down 126. S&P's uh, uh, off 19. We'll come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 127. You get a NASDAQ off 123. S&Ps are off 20. Let's go look at Amazon. This is a great question because the, I mean, if we can get Amazon right or close to being right, uh, you know, in a longer term, well, short term and long term, uh, it'd be pretty cool. And what the question is, is this, is that the, uh, where is it? Okay, so I've been talking about Amazon for a long time that uh, the $2,700 level, you know, that I wanted to test. In the last couple of days, I've been talking about the 21 to 24 is possible, and it is, and let me show you why. So, so Amazon's gonna do a 21 stock, 20 to one stock split, which is great, okay? They're gonna buy back 10 billion shares, $10, 10 billion in cost, okay? So where my head's going with this is that, you know, where, well, first off, where I was with the 2700 is that when you get over the other side here, was it right here? No, well, I, I, that had, let's see, that's a weekly. So that had the spike at 27. I'm trying to figure out what the, because I had been saying 27 for a long time. I'm trying to figure out what spike I'm talking about now. <laughs> uh, anyway, you have, you have the first low at 2707, okay? That low there, um, bottom line volume was 24 billion, million rather. But right there, my, my well, okay, so this is what my take is. When I was saying 2700, 27, right, the bottom line that looked to me like a regular correction, okay, that you're coming down to 2700 wants to test itself, right? I don't see this as a regular correction that we're in. So if that's the case, then, you know, your next level here is like 2460. And to me, it is a game that could get to 2158. And yeah, it's, you know, and now that being said, this is a nice move off of uh, 26 to 29 right now. You're going to still have some volume, but that is a big move. There's no doubt about it. I guess what I would say in this context is that if you're looking to buy this, if you're looking to buy a trade, I would not buy it. If you're looking to buy this for a longer period of time, then hey, guess what, man? You know, um, no, I'd still wait. I'd still wait. I'd still wait. I would. I would. I. I I, I, I did this yesterday, but this is, this is to me, a real canary in the coal mine as to where this baby's going. We take a look at J.P. Morgan, bottom line. My take is J.P. is the best bank we have, okay? Meaning if you like, you don't, you don't have to like banks, but it's the most efficiently run bank. And that's, that's below pre-COVID. That's five, that's $8 below pre-COVID. 
So that's telling me that's where the S&P is going, man. That's how, that's how these things normally shake out. So we shall see. Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here. Oh, actually, no. Let's go take a look at the TBT. So let's see. What's the question on the TBT here? So, well, let's go. Let's go look at it anyway. It doesn't matter what the question is. We will let you know what we think about it right now. So this is the ProShares UltraShot 20-year plus exchange-traded fund. It's two times the TLT. And... You're up 63 cents today. I think it's the TBT. One second, I might have the wrong one here. Whoops. Oh, no, TLT, sorry. Let me pull up the TLT. TLT. So the TLT is the 20-year-plus treasury. Um... You know, you're down 220, you're at 134. This is going a lot lower. I mean, you know, that, so, so what you have here, folks, is this, is that you have, actually, this is gonna be, this, is that a week, one second, 96 million? Oh, here you go. This is gonna be an ABC down. This is a monster. Okay, thanks, Frank, for bringing this up. This is huge. Oh, man, okay, let's see what we got here. 155, 134, you got 20 buck A to B, 123 coming at us. Where's 123? Okay, so 134, 123. So that brings you back to uh, March of 2019. This is going to be a confirmed ABC structure down. It's breaking the B point. All it would need, uh, we already have 93 million, and it needs 99 million, and it does approximately 20, 20 million a day, 20, just over 20 million a day. So, you know, that's saying that, you know, bottom line rates are going up. What, what I suspect is going to happen here is this, is that the war will, will slow down a little the rate structure, right? But on the biggest structure, folks, okay, rates are going up. They've, the Fed's told us a million times the rates are going up. Rates have to go up unless all of us are not going to, no matter how much cash we have, we're not going to have any money. I mean, that, that's, the, that's how this works, folks, okay? There's way too much money that's sloshing around the world, not just the U.S. economy, just the world, as, as it is with the energy, you know? This is not a... This is not a um, energy crisis in the United States. Like if, if you think we're paying high gas prices, man, we're paying, you know, one of the lowest gas prices outside of like socialist countries that, you know, basically give it away. Um, the bottom line is that this is a worldwide deal. And the only way that you can catch on to inflation and stop it is bottom line is that it has to, you know, you need an increase in rates and you need to increase. I, I suspect what we're going to see is this. We're going to see an increase in rate on a slow business, a slow way, you know, next year, you know, let's say five quarters, okay? Then there's going to be a jolt, man. There's going to be a jolt. There's going to be like a Volcker jolt, man, and, you know, to basically get rid of it. And I can tell you, by the time there is a Volcker jolt to get rid of it, we will all be very happy that there is a Volcker jolt to get rid of it. Because we'll be realizing whether we're going to, you know, the grocery store or anything else that... You know, what happened to our money, man? You know, and that's, that's worldwide money. It's just not money in the U.S. It's worldwide money. So that's, that's what I expect we're going to see happen out here. Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here. And I'll look at these indices for a second and see uh, where we're going to be. You get advanced micro down five and a half dollars. Apple's off five. You get Occidental up a buck. We have uh, Carnival down uh, up 40 cents. Uh, you get Exxon up 260, you got uh, Chevron up four, four bucks. That's, that Chevron is so strong, it's unbelievable, man. Um, you got uh, DraftKings, look at that, DraftKings trading at $17.66. This thing's going back to $10. As, oh, look at this, AMC. Okay, so AMC, the gas is finally out of AMC. This is on its way to $2, probably. Let's see what we got here. I haven't looked at this stock for a while. So in the last six months, we just went from 52 to 15. Put this up on a monthly. Yep, there she is. She's on. A, she's on. A, this one's on her way back to 
a buck ninety or something. Yeah, buck ninety one. The first stop would be uh, eight ninety three. And a buck ninety's game. And I suspect when they bring this up, watch this, they're probably still losing money. It's like they scored, man. I mean, it's unbelievable. Could you imagine? So this year they plan on taking a four point two billion, and yeah, the next two years they still expect to. Uh, lose money. But can you imagine you're running a company like that and you put secondaries out at 40 and 50 dollars and everyone buys them? It's like, oh my God, it's money from heaven. Like, crazy. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading uh, down 150. You get the NASDAQ off 131. S&Ps are off 22. So check this out. This is pretty wild, folks, okay? We talked about the, the, you know, the London um, Metal Exchange, okay? They shut down trading in nickel because nickel you know went to some outrageous amount but here's the guy you know so you get this tycoon in china that basically you know controls a big portion of it but i want to read you through this because what's really cool about this and uh, you know is that it's two well it's one tycoon and and it's against the largest trading company in the world so here you go. So the, the tycoon who's big shot and nickel helped trigger one of the most dramatic spikes in history has told his banks and brokers that he doesn't intend to reduce his position according to people familiar with the matter. Now, they're supposed to open the nickel futures again tomorrow, folks, okay? So 
This is characteristic of the self-confidence uh, that I can't pronounce the guy's name, okay? Uh, but it, to make a long story short, this guy, great entrepreneur, started out, you know, in a, just a metal shop, okay? In the bottom line, he has uh, the largest nickel producer in the world, okay? So I'll cut to the chase here on this whole deal. The prices went up 250% and two days, and you got to remember something is leverage, okay? So he was in the hole by two or three billion dollars, right? Bottom line, he comes up with the money. Now, watch what he did, folks. Okay, this was so smart, it was unbelievable. What, you know, it's very unusual. There's no way that, a, you know, an exchange is going to give you or I, you know, one minute uh, if the margin call isn't done. Well, the exchange gave one of his banks. He has 10 banks that Used, that he's using as intermediaries in between this trade. Well, they gave him another day to, to pay up, which makes sense. But this is the kicker. When you're going through this, this is what he can do. So, so picture, when he's shotting something, the bottom line is that he can deliver to the London Metal Exchange the, the metal. And <laughs> what he turned around to do, okay, in, inside this power play, is that he said to the exchange, okay, man, no problem, I'm going to deliver the product to you, okay? Can you imagine what, well, where are they gonna put it? The whole ball of wax. So that stopped them in their tracks, okay? As to the aspect of, okay, come up with the money, do the whole deal, whatever you want. Now, this one here, though, is really cool because that was yesterday. Then he comes out this morning and says, no, no, I still want a shot. Now, watch the other side of it. The other side of it that has made a fortune on this, folks, and this is where it's going to be really scary, and I'm sure the, the banks themselves got to be scared of this because, oh, this one's scary, doesn't have, because it's Glencore on the other side that's long, nickel. So Glencore, folks, okay, wasn't in this one. Maybe i got to get another story. Glencore is the largest trader of metals in the world, you know. So the bottom line is the guys, are, you know, at Glencore, let me see. Yeah, good, okay, here it is right here. This is going to say... So Glencore, yeah, look at this. Glencore is going to the moon anyway. So this this uh, this equity, yeah. In six months, this equity's gone from uh, three thirty-five to four ninety-eight. Oh, look at this. It's an ABC up. It just took out a B point. Took it out with volume. So you got that's four ninety. That's an eighty-five A to B, which is going to get you five forty. And you're so. Let me see if the story's on this one because this is cool. One second. So anyway, Glencore uh, is the long position. So we'll see what ends up happening tomorrow morning when they open this up. They're gonna, they're gonna, supposedly going to open it up, and simultaneously they're opening it up, and the, the, they call him the Big Shot. That's his name. Uh, so what's going to happen is that the Big Shot uh, also has more credit from J.P. Morgan, and one other bank uh, that, you know, the bottom line, this thing can go higher. But you can see the banks are trading this. Glencore is trading it. So you get two big shocks. And we'll see where this is going to lay out, man. I'm telling you, I would not want to be against Glencore. I can tell you that right now. Um, but, you know, guess what? He's a big boy. Pretty wild, though. There's no doubt about it. Let's go take a look at uh, the... G, no, the G, first the GLD, because the GLDs in an ABC structure up, confirmed ABC structure up. Yeah, there you go. How do you like it? Okay, so watch. We, we, we took out the B with volume, 47 million. You went down yesterday with uh, 26 million. You're going sideways today. You actually rejected the lower price with 14. You know, you get a clean ABC structure up. Uh, we take this, put this back, and you're going to see... We've already hit 193. Oh, this is interesting. We had 190. Well, this is the way I did it. I mean, this is this is the spike. The spike is 185 in the contract. In the no, it's not. In the in the uh, there it is. One second. In the one. There we go. There it is. Okay, here it is, right here. So we're looking at 194. 49 and we hit 193.50. Okay, so we this is interesting. So when I brought this up yesterday, I thought it, it blew it away. The bottom line is that you're, you're pushing into the swing with big volume. The swing here is 105 million 
and we've already done 116, and you got one day left in order to uh, basically trade. So uh, the dollar, we go take a look at the U.S. dollar out here. Uh, the dollar is going to be intriguing. It looks to me like this dollar wants to go to 101. Oh, oh, I think it's 104. Maybe it's 101. 400, let me see. Yeah, it's 101. Yeah, it's 102. The one, that 102, 879 is game. That's how this is shaking out. Um, and we'll see if uh, it wants to get into that area. Let's go take a look at Google. Google right now. So that's going up with light volume. That's not done going down. You did 21 million shares today. When I say going up, like now watch this, folks. You can, you can see the, the correlation here. We, we came down here. You come down with 1.5 million, 1.9 million, uh, 1 1.9. We go up yesterday with 1.6, and today you're going up with 869,000. Most times when you see the types of bounces, you know, you get a, you get a nice little bounce of the way up, which we had yesterday. Um, then you go against that bar and you're looking like we opened lower, so you want to see how's it coming into the bar again. And we're looking out here, you're losing strength again. So just in that context, all that, what that means is that you have less buyers that are basically buying, okay? And the amount of buyers that you need now in order to get the higher price folks are phenomenal. Why? Because you have so many people on the other side saying, just let me out. Give me a decent bid. Give me a bounce. And I'm sure that a lot of people, you know, here in the morning that, oh, the futures are up 50. That's going to be good for me. And then they realize, which I was talking about yesterday, which is that when you're down 5%, you go back up 5%, you're still down. Okay? That's, that's the trick of numbers. Not the trick. It's the magic of numbers, actually. But it's something that you want to wrap your head around. Because in these markets, it's really important, and particularly it's important when you just hit listen to headlines on any type of news station. You know, it doesn't mean the thing that you're up five or ten percent. You want it against what? Dow Industrials right now down one day eighty six. You get the Nasdaq off one fifty three. S and P's are off thirty. You come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Tech is booming, but for how long? 
Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down uh, 118. You get the Nasdaq off 120. S&Ps are off 19. Let's go take a look. This is an interesting one, man, for one of the targets here. So I never saw this ETF before. So look at look what this is. This is QL, no, QYLD. It's the Global X NASDAQ 100 covered call. So what I expect they do, well, let's take a look at it. So the low for the year is 18. The high is 22.64. They, let's see, I don't see a dividend here. Nope, okay, so let's watch the Holdens now. We take a look at the Holdens, Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Tesla, Alphabet, NVIDIA. Not, okay, this, that's some big stocks, right? So, I suspect what this is, now this is gonna get interesting, because what, what happens there, because it says the covered call, I expect what they have there is this, is that they own the equity, and they're selling covered calls on the equity. Now. What ends up happening is that, you know, and that's why you can see this thing didn't get totally smoked because they were selling covered calls, I suspect, up at, you know, the $32 area, uh, no, $22 area, and they were taking an income, but then on the principal, it went down. So now we're down to another level. Um, yeah, it's not a bad trade, man. Uh, this is, you know, you know, first off, technically, you had the high volume low at 1943. That was 16 million shares. Got to a low, lower low at 9 million shares, and then just tested that on Monday with 7 million. So that's like saying to me, see, when you, when you load up again, what ends up happening here is this, is that let's picture they're selling covered, covered calls, and the market still says, stays flat or lower. Well, this will do a little bit better. That's what it comes down to. And that's why this is not as smoked. So hey, just look, watch this for a second. I'll do this. So let's watch, let's just take this from, we'll take it from January 1st. Okay, so January, we take it from January, that's $22 and you're still at 1977, right? Now watch this. Now this is, this is different in one way because, you know, you have all the, I'm bringing up Kathy Wood's ARC Innovation Fund and the holdings there, yeah, I guess these, no, nah, these are different holdings, I can't do it like that. Can't do it. Well, no, you know what I can do that? But I can just do the regular QQQ. Because those, so if I take the QQQ from January 1st, what do we have here? So that's like uh, 4, 403 to 331, you know? So in that context, yeah, it's pretty cool, man. Uh, Silva, we take a look at uh, EXK. Uh, this this stock is a highly volatile stock, folks, and when you get it going with you, it is awesome, okay? This is Endeavor Silver. Um, the low for the year is 335. The high is 776. Uh, this company here does 189 million a year, 15 cents through the bottom line, and we take a look. This has some wide price spread volume. It has everything you need for higher price. Take a look at this on a weekly. Okay, so that's nice. You, you, I'll say so. Watch. You can uh, actually. Uh, so the weekly, the last swing point, which is going after now, is 595. At 595, we had 18.6 million. Well, guess what? We already have 24 million. That means it's going to basically get up and into that area, and we'll see whether it can blow it away. If I put this on a monthly, you're going to see. Oh, this is cool. That's what I want to see. Got a lot. Whatever equities you own on the metals market, folks, you want to look and see what type of retracement they did 
just in case, yeah, this can be an ABC up. It did a 0.618 retracement on a monthly chart. So now let me do those numbers. Okay, so just in case, because I think these are all going to be ABC. So you get a buck, it's a seven dollars. You get six sixty, which we get to ten bucks. Was ten bucks up here? Yeah. So what you want to be aware of is that if you put these on monthlies, what you want to be aware of is do the ABC structure. And the bottom line is that you know, number one, I think this is going to run to seven seventy six. And if you get volume, you get a ten dollar A to ABC structure up. That's how these things are shaking out right now. If we go take a look at the silver market, what you're going to see is that we are, nope, S I H, nope, um. come on, baby, give me S I, where are I, S I K, I should know that by heart, S I K two, okay, so we take a look at the May silver futures, 55,000 contracts today. They rejected lower price at 2560. They've had a straight line move. I gotta put this on a continuous. My take is we're going to 30, but I'm gonna do a longer term deal here on this. I wanna just really see this, how this is laid out. Because right now, what is also happening right now in the metal market, folks, the physical metal market, is that, oh, this is pretty, man. Okay, so this can be a monster ABC up. Let me see what this is. Eleven seventy. So you get thirty bucks. You know, so we're talking about let's say nineteen bucks. That's all. That's forty bucks, man. That's this is okay. So silver can go up to its highs. You break this thirty dollars with volume, you get a forty dollar ABC structure up. That's that's real possible, man. It's a clean, it's a clean A to B leg and. We did, we didn't even do a 50% retracement from the last low to a high. So that's saying it's strong, you know, so, and that's why I can see some of these uh, silver stocks did starting to wake up also. Um, so what you want to really wrap your head around there, folks. So, uh, so what I was going to say on the side of the silver market, folks, the scrap silver. So, you know, you get the bags, a bag of silver has 715 ounces of silver, troy ounces of silver. Um, this is one that they've just, you know, the bags of quarters. Well, just those bags, this is, this is the type of demand is, that's in the market right now. Uh, those bags are presenting a $3 premium. And most times, like the, the run in 2011, that was a monster run. Let me just see. What, I think that's when silver went. Let me just see what silver went to that. Um, the silver bags still basically, you know, hadn't had um, a premium in them. And there's a premium now. I was, I was doing some business this morning. So, um, you know, that 2011, yeah, it is. So 2011, there we, 2011, we reached 40, $49 in silver. Silver's must to make the run, man, you know, and there's no reason that it can't, you know, so it's going to be wild. Uh, Microsoft, let's go, oh, actually, hold it. Wh who just came? NVIDIA. Let's go take a look at NVIDIA first, because I believe I was listening to Kevin Hanks and Tom White this morning. And they're going to have a investor day. They're talking a lot about Nvidia, and Nvidia right now is trading at two twenty six. Yeah, I think Nvidia is still dangerous. Nvidia is really not saying much. You know, it doesn't have a high volume low. They say, watch this. On a monthly basis, you had a high volume high with a 1.8 billion. You came off of that with 1.11 billion, 1.7. We just did 347 million, but we're only at the beginning of the month. Well, at the, we're 10 days into the month. And you're still going into this swing with way too much volume. I, and video, I, my take is we can go 147, and right now you're 226. That would be a hit, <laughs> needless to say. Dow Industrials right now trading down 123, NASDAQ off 128, S&P's off 19. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secure investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, down 66. The Nasdaq's off 97. S&Ps are only off 10 bucks. And you know what's so cool, folks? Again, you got to love all these tigers and tigresses. So I get, you know, one of the tigers out here saying NVDA uh, gets an A for accumulation uh, from IBD. And this is, a, this is a different subject, but the same thing, which is pretty cool. Uh, Bill O'Neill uh, says the ultimate sh uh, optimum shot is five to six months after peaking so we are there on both uh uh tesla and nvda <laughs> you gotta love investor business daily man i mean i've had bill on you know we did those hour programs i think i think I did four hour programs with them which is really cool but the bottom line great guy really understands the market uh in a big way there's no doubt about that uh, market wise out here the bottom line is that yeah that s p you know is, cra is crawling trying to get to get to higher price uh, that's saying, yeah, you might get a pop tomorrow. I mean, you know, we'll see where this shakes out. That might take, you know what my take is. The bottom line to get a pop, we're not done even close to going downtown. I don't, I don't see any big bounces out here at all, at all. Um, we do take a look at the uh, NDX 100, the three Qs. We deal with the Qs, same type of setup. You know, the, the Qs look better when I st than I started the show, that's for sure. You know, you, you still have higher volume, 63 million, but that's not the end of the world. Uh, on Monday, we did uh, 116, you know. Yesterday, you went to a, a high with 64. So, you know, you, could, there's, there's, you certainly can get a, a small bounce going. You're going to be able to learn so much about markets in this cycle. And what I mean by the cycle is that as we went up to the highs, 
looking like the market would never stop going up as we go down to the lows. This is, to me, is this a very big, long, lasting correction. And by the time it's over, um, I think everyone's going to learn quite a bit about how these cycles go and where these things come in from. And in this particular case, my take is that, you know, you had everyone long. They couldn't sell to anyone else. It wasn't the, the earnings, you know, people, but you don't crash when people say the, the earnings. It's like, hold it. The earnings, why? It, if you're paying 50 to 1 for earnings, well, you know, okay. But that is not 14 to 1, 15 to 1 is the name of the game, folks. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Have a great one, folks. Look at them, folks. <laughs>